Hi everybody, um, thank you for clicking on the video if you have done and uh, welcome to the ASMR Geekdom. Now, I don't really talk in my videos so far, not in the few I've done anyway, um, but I thought this time I would um, and I guess just introduce the channel. So the ASMR Geekdom, uh, ASMR obviously because, well, it's ASMR um, and the reason being for me is because I went through a time in my life where insomnia really affected me. Um, I was struggling to relax and sleep and I guess Googling tips and tricks to help you sleep, I stumbled across ASMR in its early days on YouTube and it, I think it really, 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 really did change my life, sorry. So I guess I wanted to create an ASMR type channel that if it could help someone else, then even if it was one person, then, then that's fine by me. Uh, Geekdom, uh, a play on Kingdom, obviously. Um, because I guess it's really here just to satisfy my inner nerd. So, so far on the channel, I've done a Lego build. Um, there's the obvious kind of atypical rain video. Um, those are the ones that really, really helped me. Um, I plan on doing, uh, Warhammer builds and, and painting and, uh, some more Lego, uh, more Pokemon cards and opening and collecting and just everything really that as I say, satisfies my inner nerd because deep down I am. Um, on the surface of things, I might not look like it. I mean, I'm covered in tattoos. I have a beard. I go to the gym as much as I can. I have a good job. You wouldn't really peg me as somebody that kind of enjoys this sort of stuff. But at my core, it's, it's who I am. I, I love this sort of thing and kind of it's what I enjoy doing. So uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes, I guess, of why we're here, and that is Pokemon cards. Now, just a quick background on my Pokemon card history. Um, during the mid to late 90s, I was one of those kids that, you know, bought the original packs um, from the shops for only a couple of pounds, if you can believe that. Um, and I had the entire base set. Um, in the mid noughties, I would say 2004, 2005, kind of the Pokemon bubble burst, let's say. And because I needed money to go to the cinema and go out of friends, I sold the entire thing for anywhere from, I don't know, I guess, 20p a card to £2 a card. And this probably makes some of you cringe. It makes me cringe every time I talk about it. I had the likes of a base set Charizard, uh, Venusaur, all the good ones, a first edition Blastoise. Yep. Um, he went for a, about pound fifty, I think. Um, and the rest. I got to the point where obviously the Pokemon boom happened again a few years ago. And I was like, I swear I've got some squirreled away somewhere. So I checked my garage and for 20 years, what do I find sitting in there? Lots of different cards that I guess I just forgot I had. That included the likes of Mewtwo, base set Nartales, everyone's first holo card, I guess. Um, some jungle, some rocket, some trainer cards, some fossils, and this guy, a first edition holo Machamp. Um, it's in quite good condition for something that's sat in a box for 20 plus years. I mean, or well, if that really. Um, so yeah, that's me. That's Pokemon cards. The card set, sorry, I set, I collect now um, is Lost Origin. That's the one I want to collect. It might not be everyone's favorite, but it is mine. Um, today, we're not doing Lost Origin because, well, you can't find them anywhere. You can, but not like you used to when they, obviously the, the first print came out. Um, so my plan is to buy trade um, until I complete it. Um, hence the packs you see in front of you. Um, so the, the video, the title, the, the thumbnail, a pack opening, uh, I guess a Pokemon pack opening battle between Paldean Fates and 151. Um, you can't buy the boosters anywhere. I can't find them anywhere. You have to buy them in like the packs or like special boxes. So these come out of the binder. Um, and these guys come out of one of the sticker packs you can buy. Um, regardless, we've got some in front of us and we're going to open them. Before we start though, I'd be very interested to know in, uh, or I'd be very interested to know, sorry, which set you guys think would will win today in terms of what will kind of garner the, the best pulls. My money is on Paldi and Fates. Um, but let me know, I guess if you've got to this part of the video and you've, you know, continue with me whilst I waffle on about who I am. Um, let me know which one you think is going to win by maybe putting a, a comment, um, starting with a star, so I, I know you've kind of listened to this point, and which set you think will win. As I say, my money's on Powdy and Fates. Um, and if you 
interested, um, not that you are, but my name is Michael. Um, I hope to do a lot more Pokemon opening. Um, I hope, like I say, I hope to do some Warhammer videos, a lot more Lego building and kind of a lot more stuff for you to just watch and enjoy and kind of relax and follow along as I do. Yeah, my best to help you relax and uh, satisfy your inner nerds at the same time. So here we go. Which one to do first, I guess, is the big question. I think because everyone's excited about Paldian Fates at the minute, I'm going to do 151. One. Yep. Let's go with that first, right? So, start with this guy, I guess. Um, let's make some space, clear it up. Get these guys in the middle so you can see it better on a better background. Here we go. Not, oh, I've not actually pulled any 151 or Powdy and Fates yet, so this is, yeah, this is exciting for me. It might, hopefully it is for you, you might not be, you might have turned off by now, or you might be like, shut up mate. But regardless, right, let's go. I don't know what the, the card trick is for this set. I mean, is it three, is it two, I mean. I don't know. There you go. If anyone wants that. Um, I don't know the card trick. It's gone. Oh, no, it's going to bug me. Right. Uh, right. Let's see if I can do this without ruining it for myself. Where is he? Where is the energy? Where is the energy? Where is the energy? Oh, it's at the back. Do we do... Is it four or is it three? I mean, the energy is at the back. So I'll just put him to the front and we'll go from there. Screw it. Oh wow, I do like a hot, like a holographic energy. I never knew that. Right, so basic fire, Goldeen, Weeping Bell. This guy in the Pokemon games, especially the original Pokemon games, was all my go-to for grass. I would get him all the way up to Victory Bell and just oh yeah, so that's my favourite. So obviously the Bell Sprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell. It was my favourite. Ghastly Paris. Oh, something shiny back there. Just saw him. Primate. Fero. Onyx. And a oh, hollow Kingler. Here we go. I mean, it looks. Is it gold? Is it gold? No, it can't be. Not straight away. Oh. oh got excited. Mm, there's one more. A hollow Gengar. I mean, I'm new to 151 is a gold energy. Good. I mean, that's a nice that's an energy to go. That's pretty cool. So this is what we got from this guy. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to keep these two to the side because I really don't know if that's anything good or not. You guys are probably going to be watching this video going, mate, it's awful. Or, mate, that's crazy. I'll find out. I guess I'll Google it afterwards. So we'll put these to the side. There's two good ones. This can get lost. Right, let's go Powdy and Fates. I'll go with a Pikachu first. I mean, is the card trick the same, do you think? Or I don't really know. We'll find out. We'll go with the same card trick, I guess. There you go. If anyone wants that, you see it. Um, are you the energy? Yes, you are. You can go to the front. Hopefully, it's the same. See, so look. I mean, this guy's got to be. That's a gold card, right? Oh, I don't know. Right. So, lightning. Paldean student. Shinchu. Pikachu. Oh, isn't this set? Isn't Paldean Fates the one with the like the shiny red Pikachu thing? I think this is, isn't it? Again, I don't really know. Fanfi, Gengar, Chameleon. Oh, that's a nice card. Oink alone, apparently. Oh, here we go. First shiny, Weevil. And we finish on a... No, we don't finish on a Wooper. I can't count. That's pretty good. So you're a good pull, Weevil. You can go to the side. A Oh, hello, we Wooper and a... Raichu. 
I had a first edition of this guy. I don't know if I mentioned already. Maybe I did in the base set. Um, I think I traded it for like the worst condition Venusaur in the world. Um, but yeah, that's one of the last ones actually I needed to complete the base set. Okay, I think so far for me, Paldi and Fates won that one. So let's put them to the side. I have to keep them separate, make sure I know which set they've come from. Blimey. Right, Paddy and Fates can go to the left. And we'll make sure... Oh, I've just messed that up already. All well, 5 one goes to the right. Paddy and Fates to the left. Okay, one well, five one again. Here we go. Daisy's help. Aerodactyl. He's alt hollow, not hollow. I actually have, for some weird reason, it's a card I bought for Lost Origin. The Japanese version, hollow Japanese version of this. Um, where did I put him? Is he in here? Let's, let's have a little look if he's in here. Yep, yeah, there he is. There we go. I mean, hollow is much nicer, isn't it? It's a cool card. The the illustrator on this, the illustrator, sorry, on this is got some nice cards. I think he did one of the Giratinas in Lost Origin too, but the Japanese version is very nice. Just some other random ones that I thought. I mean, they're not hollow, but they were cool to me. I mean, like just putting aside like the base squirtle, bubble saw, we saw uh, Charmander, etc., and some promo cards. And Nidoking King, Nidu King down there is hollow as well. It's a shame he isn't. But yeah, some cool cards. Um, the movie promos as well from back in the day. Hopefully they'll be worth some money some point. So, oh, we've got one more card, what we're doing? Aerodactyl and a hollow bee drill. I still, th even, I still think Paldi and Fates is, mm, I don't know yet. We'll see when we pull the next one. Right, over that side you go. I never knew that energies would be shiny, actually, or holographic. That's, that's new to me. Right. Next pally and fates it is. Chimichu, another Pikachu, we've got you already. Party and student, didn't we have that as well? Fido, Scrafty, Swoobat, Artisan. Didn't we pull Chilton? We've already got Chinchu, but not the alt, I don't think. The Mona. One card after is a Annihilate. I mean, Pally and Face didn't come through then, did it? Oh well. Uh, you can go to the side. I mean, nothing else really for me. I don't know if that pneumonia's worth anything. Probably not. Right. Last one, 5 1. Here we go. Front, here we go. Thank you. 
Electric Energy EV Dome Antique Dome Fossil Involves into Kabuto, we've got him Weasel Zubat Get some kind of doubles now Need a Queen Not got you yet Victory Bell, there you are Big Air Balloon <laughs> And a Vulpix And Two left, all picks into a Omanite, oh, hollow into a oh, Mr. Mime, holographic. I mean, yeah. I'm not too sure 151 came through for us on this occasion. But you with you, I think they're in the right place. Yep, on the right, right. So, and we are on to the last Howdy and Face. I have faith this is going to pull something good. We don't have like any full arts, we don't have any trainer gallery, we don't have any kind of secret rares or anything yet. So that's uh, illustration rares, that's, that's fingers crossed for this one. Or that wasn't just one big dud. I mean, the best one I think I pulled is that Weevil, um, which is which is cool. But the Aerodactyl is as well. But like I said, I've got the, the Japanese version, which I think I prefer because it's hollow as well. Um, so yeah, right here we go. Fingers crossed. And that gold energy. I mean, is it? Is it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to Google it. It, look, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Because look at the number. Where's the camera? So two oh seven one six five. It is. It is a gold card. Okay, that's that's right. That's 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 okay. That must be. So basic fighting Chinchu. Three of you. Pineco Pikachu. There's three of you. You get that all the time, obviously. Fanfi. I oh no. Ah, that's not the one we want, though, is it? You know what I'm talking about. Killer Watchful. That's a cool looking Pokemon. Shame it's not hollow. Curly up again. We want your next one. Your evolution, your yeah. God of War. Anyway. Paldean student. I think I've got three of you, but not an old hollow. We're going into a cottony. Mm. Come on, be something that's not, is it though? Oh, Zartu Hollow. It's nice and everything, but yeah, right, okay. Over you go. So let's get ourselves sorted. Have a look at our final takings. So Pallium Fates. This is what we've come up with for Pallium Fates. The Aerodactyl is not a hollow, so I'm not going to include that. It's cool, but it's, yeah. And here is what we've managed to take from 151. I mean, I don't know. The Weevil in Paldean Fates obviously is cool. The gold card here for an energy. I never knew they did gold versions of energies. Obviously it's cool as well. I don't know. I think what takes it for me just because of the gold card is probably 151 and that's scraping it. Some of you might disagree. You might think like the, the shiny rare from Party and Fates is better, but I don't know. Let me know. Uh, anyway, if you made it all to the end, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully we do more of these. Um, yeah, um, I'm not going to do them to kind of complete the set. Um, it's just going to be to see what kind of rares I can pull. Like I might find that I go to a trading card show soon and kind of I can trade these guys for say something in Lost Origin that I don't have. Um, yeah, we will see, I guess. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, if you have done, and uh, subscribe. I mean, it's free. It doesn't hurt either. Uh, neither does liking the video. Um, go back and watch some other ones if you want. I mean, if you fancy spending an hour and a half watching me build the end one from Mandalorian, then fantastic. Um, hopefully I'll put it on the end screen, if I remember. Um, but until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.